Hey guys, today's video, we're gonna do a uh, review on this trailer. So this is a Harbor Freight dirt bike carrier trailer. My hitch is rated for around three or 400 pounds. And you guys saw one of my videos where I, I broke it and it was actually cracked from the previous owner before me. I don't know how he did that, but when I finished the crack on one side of the trailer, I'll attach a little copy of how that looked. I came from off the road real quick and turned and it was a big bump and it just went side to side and that's how it cracked. So I actually got it reinforced. So I did that on both sides. For the cost of the trailer of $120, I mean, you can't really beat the price. And plus you can get it on sale for a hundred bucks. I paid only 70 for mine. It was used. I didn't buy it brand new, but I mean, it moves a little bit but not much at all for the price. I think it's definitely worth it. Um, the way you hook it up, it comes in, in pieces and you just have to kind of bolt it together and getting it off and off, off and on the car is very simple. All you have is this bolt right here with a nut on the other end, 218 millimeters. And then you have this pin right there that goes through the hitch and that's it. And the whole thing slides right off. And if you want to take the dirt bike off, just unscrew this, slide it off to the side, unscrew that. This ramp comes right off. And then boom, there you go. Then you gotta just pull it off and it's super easy. It has little holes for you to strap it down with. So hook up to your handlebars here, right there, and then right down there. Okay, so this is how you take the the bike off the trailer. It's pretty simple. Take the straps off. You got the ramp already down. Remember to remove the front thing that holds the, the tire in. And sometimes it gets stuck by the knobbies, but just pull on it hard. And that, guys, is how you take the bike off the trailer. Like I said a million times, it's definitely worth the buy. It's really not that hard to pull the bike off. If the knobbies get stuck, then that, that's when it becomes a little bit of a pain. But you just use your body, pull it out, and you'll be fine. So it's uh, definitely worth it. Guys, bored and trying to burn out or something. <sighs> Definitely not enough power. Fail. Redneck fails. Put this on right there. Put that guy on there. Boom. Wrap these up. Good to go. The one thing I don't really talk much about is about these tire strap things, whatever you want to call it. Um, this trailer's kind of flipped around after it got reinforced. This was supposed to be where I put the back wheel and I put the front wheel, this in the front wheel. But I like loading it from the left to right. Just works better for me, so I don't really care. But how to use these, you basically turn it. until this part hooks onto the wheel on both sides and it kind of holds the wheel in place and it's for the back wheel because the back wheel is thicker and if you do it on the front wheel you might hook up onto the rim and scratch it you don't want to do that so i don't usually use it it's a backup if you want to use it if you're wondering how to use it and that's really it it's really really simple if you can't afford a truck this is a very good option for you even on a car you just have a regular car that can hold it 
um, to get the right hitch for the car and it's not bad at all it holds holds really nice and for the money I would definitely recommend even though I broke one you know I would still recommend it it's very worth the money than rather buying a, a new truck